Hey guys, Fox here, and welcome back to my channel. We're playing perhaps my favorite gaming franchise of all time, which is the Dragon Age franchise. Um, Inquisition, I think, is my favorite of it. All three of them, I love Dragon Age 2. This one's a little bit more tactical and a little more not what I'm good at or what I'm used to. Um, but I really want to play it on my channel because it is my favorite series. It's my favorite franchise. And Dragon Age Dread Wolf is coming out. Now, I was going to stream this, uh, but I don't really feel like dealing with streaming. So, we're just going to record it. <laughs> um, these are going to be kind of long episodes because this is a long game. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, I have the hiccups all of a sudden. I'm going to let this just kind of sit for a second because there is a intro sequence that plays if you let it sit for a little bit but then i'll just talk while it's happening up until that point dragon age is one of the first games that i fully completed i think dragon age 2 might have been the first game that i finished start to finish i had dragon age and then dragon age 2 and then dragon age inquisition and i got my ps3 hold on my cat is on my table and she's about to no she's just sitting there um, I had Dragon Age Inquisition, and I got that one when I got my PS3, and I thought, you know, I wasn't familiar with the series, I didn't really know what it was all about, so I was like, oh, I'll just play this. Um, and kind of got a little confused, and was like, maybe I should start from the beginning, so I went back to Dragon Age Origins, and I played this game so much, like, I played this game religiously i have done so many playthroughs but the thing is is i never actually finished it like i i have now since then but like the first i was so obsessed with replaying the romance sections and the romance carries out throughout the whole game but i was so obsessed with playing the romance sections and you know doing all these different quests and just like the initial stages of it all that i only finished this game like twice um and then i went into inquisition that game is so, when you go from playing Origins, because that's the thing, all of these games are very different. Origins, Dragon Age 2, and Inquisition. They're all the same, but they all play in different ways. Um, and I'll talk more about that as we go. But Dragon Age Origins is a lot more top-down tactical than Inquisition was. So when you got used to playing this game and then you bounced over to Inquisition where you could jump... Um, I got lost in the hinterlands like that. Um, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So I played this game and I played it. Oh, wait, here's the opening sequence. It's been so long since I've watched this. Liliana! Ah! That gets me so pumped! <laughs> I love that! I love that! Nothing is better than the Dragon Age 2 one, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, but, oh my god. So 2009, you know, that's over 10 years ago. Um, I can't even remember what I was talking about before then. I love this game. You are gonna hear me say that so much. I love this game. Um, and it makes me... I have all of the downloads. <laughs> Uh, it just makes me so excited to play it, and I haven't seen really anyone on YouTube play it, so it's gonna be fun. I don't expect to ever, like, a lot of people, to, I'm playing the whole thing, whether or not people watch it. Like, this is my favorite series, and I'm, I'm planning on playing the whole thing, and that's just how it's gonna be. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. I liked doing the initial thing. I play it the same way every time, though, so here, that's the thing about me, is I played this literally the same way. I'm always going to pick the same character. I A little bit of variation. It depends on if I'm romancing Alistair or Zevran. I don't really know who I feel like romancing this time. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. The Canticle of Thranodes, 813. Um, but yeah, I haven't decided who I'm going to romance. We meet. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The maiden
ages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. Duncan! We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Dun dun dun! So what I was saying is, you know, we meet Alistair first, so usually I end up romancing Alistair, um, because he's easiest, but Zevran's also my babe. We might do a Zevran run this time. Um, whatever I choose is going to carry on through all three games, so I'm going to try to be thorough. I'm going to try to, um, make it make sense. I'm going to try to do as many of the quests as I can, but obviously... I've done them all before, and some of them are absolutely tedious, and some of them are really annoying and frustrating, and, you know, this is a PS3 game that I'm playing, so the controls are old and frustrating, and I have cat hair in my mouth, um, so we will do as much as I can without losing my goddamn mind <laughs> to be nice, so, um, You were born amidst the Dalish Elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. The Dalish traveled the land in tightly knit clans, struggling to maintain their half-forgotten lore in a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests, and as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, I swear. Please don't hurt us. You Shemlin are pathetic. 
It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. Well, we've never done nothing to you, Dalish. We didn't even know this forest was yours. This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethalan? What should we do with them? Alrighty. So that's a big thing about this game is that there's no voice acting for the main character. However, I will say, and most others agree with me, is that the voice acting um, in the later games meant that there were fewer options in terms of dialogue. So the dialogue in this game that the character can use are... They're fun. <laughs> Letting them go might bring more of them. You are too soft. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Mm, the cave yes, of troubles. A cave with ruins like I've never seen. We thought. So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. But I, uh, I have proof. Here. We found this just inside the entrance. Also, I'm eating gummies, don't mind me. The stone has carved it. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. Why not? It was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the maker we were able to outrun it. A demon. Where is this cave? He's gonna die. Off the west, I think. Well. He gets in sucked into a mirror, which we learn in Dragon Age 3 was, well, we learn it in this game too, but it really comes into play in Inquisition. It was a Luvian. Run along then, Shems, and don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to the story? Carvings make me curious. Uh, sure, let's go. If we find anything, the keeper will want to know. Tamlin dies. There's so much saving in this game. But, can I? No. Okay. Oh. A little bit more uh, responsive than I remember. I need to turn that down. Hold on. Um. Oh, that is so much better. I mean, still a lot, but better. Okay. Now, I can't remember if it's the game or if I have it set up, but it, it auto-attacks. Um, which is nice. I'm not going to be reading the codexes and all of that because... Frankly, you don't need to, and I know pretty much all you need to know about this game right now. Um, and also because there's just so much lore in this game that I just don't have the time to pause and let you read each codex. But you know what? If you're curious, you can go get the game and play it yourself. Now, it is on. I know it's on PS3 and I know it's on PC. You can get it on PC. Um, there's just no controller support for the PC version or, you know, there's like modded controller support that's very, very finicky and doesn't play the way a controller would, so you may as well just play PC with a keyboard and mouse, but, um, I'm playing it on PS3. Always the careful one. Fine. But I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? You're gonna die. That's how dangerous. Yep. Mm. 
people are just really loud in their cars today. It's going to ruin my audio. Uh huh. Cocoon. Alrighty, righty, Rooney. Success. My nose is so itchy because of my dang darn cats. Alrighty, we'll go this way. Now, like I said, I haven't played this one in a bit. I've been uh, way more focused on Inquisition. Mostly because I do have that one on my PC because it has controller support or you can get controller support for Inquisition on your con on your PC. Um, and also because my PS3 just was not hooked up. Come on. There we go. Um, but all that said, I remember majority of this, I just, it has been a while since I played this. Ah! Whoops. You said trap right as I stepped on it. Um, but there are things about this game that I'm not... I'm glad they changed in later games. And, like, one of them is, um... In Inquisition, <laughs> you can loot while the battle's going on. So you have your companions just... Uh, fighting and you're over there just looting everything but it makes things so much easier when you go to pick something up and you can't because there's an enemy nearby like come on um but that also means like because i haven't done this in a while i don't fully remember where to go for certain things but i remember pardon me i remember the general project trajectory not trajectory. <laughs> So, we'll do what we can. Are you deaf? No. Like right now, for instance, I don't remember what to do. I can't believe this. I just had to walk up to a statue. Uh, do I recognize it? Nope. Back when our people lived in our land, but statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, with the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of Arlathan? We're nowhere near Arlathan, and this proves nothing. We must have lived in other places, too. Even if elves didn't live here, its architects knew of our gods. Uh-huh. Oops. Going. The nice thing about this game, I will say, is that if you can't figure out how to get to your enemy, you can just click the attack button and it'll auto bring you to the nearest enemy so that you don't have to worry about it. By the creators. What what was that thing? It was a monster that gave me coins. All right, let's level up. I also have to get used to playing on a PS3 controller cuz I've been playing PS5. And the controller's different. All right, let's see. Let's raise dexterity. A little bit of cunning. 
and then coercion is going to be really useful. Stealing's not super useful. I never really do trap making. Combat training allows you to do more. Combat tactics gives you a combat tactics slot, but I need coercion. And then I'm not an archer. Let's do this one. Yeah, that's good. And then let's put on the equipment that I got. Is it better or worse? No, what I have is better. Cool. I'm going to have to readjust to all the buttons because it's they're not the same as, obviously, as Inquisition. I gotta adjust my feet. Um... <laughs> See? Good dialogue. Do not touch the glass. Not that we'd leave a fingerprint on it. See how clean it is? Not a single smudge or crack. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't... Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Tamlin. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Don't you see it? There it is again. Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. I just need to take a closer look. People are being it's really loud in their cars showing, today. Like, places. more so than usual. I can see. Tamlin, Some don't touch city. the mirror. Underground? Don't touch the mirror. And there's a great blackness. It saw me. Help! I can't look away! Bye, Tamlin. So he did. <laughs> Can you hear me? Duncan! I'm very sorry. The more I talk, the more I yawn. Am I out of gummies? That's unfortunate. <laughs> You're awake. Keep the gods own luck, Lethalon. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? Where's Tamlin? I don't know. The Shem who brought you here saw no sign of him. We drove off some Shems in the forest. I doubt you could have driven this one off. He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. He yeah, that sounds about right. Off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. I gotta go talk to the she Keeper. She wants to talk to you too. Stay here, I'll get her. So, a fun fact is that I see you are awake, Don. I'll let them finish talking. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. So, a f I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. So, a fun fact is that if you walk around this camp, there is an elf named Merrill. And it seems kind of innocuous at first, but in Dragon Age 2, she's one of your companions, so it's nice. If he encountered the same thing you did? Yes. The Grey Warden said he found you alone outside a cave, already stricken. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? I don't really know what a darkspawn is. Oh, there were walking corpses and other walking strange monsters. Corpses. Dark magic, but not dark spawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What I else did you. you find? What is the last thing you remember? The mirror. Tamlin touched the it. Mirror. And it caused all this. I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Well, then you're not a very good keeper, are you? Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. 
He is more important than any law in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn, but we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, darling? Without you, we will not find it. Sure, let's go. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlin if you can, but do it swiftly. Take Meryl to the cave and find Tamlin. I understand. Go quickly. For Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. Keep a Marathari. This is just the lore of everything. Taking stuff. Taking stuff. There we go. Think so. Ugh. It's done naturally. Naturally. Marathari. Nenarel. Hunter. Elf woman. Marin. Amethara, it's good to see you recovered. They fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their mourning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shenlin horses. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Okay, Marin. Bye-bye. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father the good thing about them talking is that I don't have to talk that much. Tribes. I will carry It'll it happen more honor. often. Um, ooh. No. Of course. Take whatever you need. I don't want to bog down this too much with dialogue. Um, I'm mostly... want to just do what I do. Um, so there'll be time for talking at other points in the game. Right now, I'm just kind of letting them do the talk, letting it set up. Always good to have more health poultices. I am playing on easy. Because I can. Um, but also because I just want to get through. I don't want to get through it, but like, my goal of this is to enjoy the game. I have hiccups all of a sudden. My goal of this is to enjoy the game and show it off on my channel um, as opposed to struggling through it because I've played it all before uh, and I just want to do this and then some Dragon Age 2 um, so where is Meryl?
over with. Health woman and then a shall. By the creators, it is so good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. All that time you were ill, the keeper didn't know if you were going to live or die. I've been outside the keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. He's missing. That's awful. That's what He's we know. Been a good friend to you since you were fledglings. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such risks. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. Reopening old wounds benefits no one. Of course. Try to make the evening meal, will you? You're nothing but skin and bones. Mm hmm. Hunter Child Merrill, there you are. Hey, girly. The keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those. Her voice caves. changes from this As to the next apprentice, game. I may see something you missed, but our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time. A little, but the keeper cured you. How dangerous could it be? Even if I get sick, finding Tamlin or something valuable will be worth it. She does bud magic in the second game. And let us make haste while daylight lasts. Fun facts. She gets kicked. Well, she doesn't get kicked out. She gets eh, kicked out <laughs> of this clan. She's sent away to a different clan. And, or maybe it's not a different clan. I think the clan goes northwards. At some point, she's kicked out of the clan. And that's how she ends up with Hawk in the second one. That evil laugh. <laughs> boop, boop. Alrighty, and what we're were back to things? here. Were those darkspawn? I don't know. You're asking me. I've never seen anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Can you? Where did they come from? Were they here before? No. You ask a lot of questions. What would Darkspawn have to do with our people? The stories say our Lathan fell long before the Darkspawn appeared. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's hope we don't find any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you all right? Were you hurt during the fight? I'm fine. It's just that you're quite pale. You look a bit feverish, in fact. I'm fine. Well, I'll keep an eye on you. You've only just recovered from your illness. Let's not think of that now. We should move on. Meryl, I've never liked you. That sounds mean, but truly she annoys me. I wonder whose camp this is. Do you remember it being here? Maybe it belongs to Duncan. You're probably right. Didn't he say he was headed back to the cave? If so, he's not here now. And we've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Do you hear that? People keep saying that, and I don't. Exactly. The forest is too still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. All right, more walking Could corpses. The cave? That would not be good. The sooner we find this cave and Tamlin, the sooner we can leave. Take us there quickly. Demanding. How I wish I could loot in the midst of battle. Jesus Christ. It's like people purposely conspired to be obnoxious today. Get 
gathering party measure for it? Yes. Please and thank you. Now we just go back into the cave that we were in before. So these are the ruins. Interesting. Now we're allowed to learn to something about you. We Yet the golden artifacts are scattered amongst them. Nothing explains the monsters, though. But we must find Tamlin, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about. Negative. You're right. We should explore farther before I go on about my... The hands in this game are so whack. I hate living on a main road in a city where people are assholes. Whoa. Never any shortage of these ones. I didn't notice that before. What are you? Queer <laughs> Hey, I just want to pick up the loot. Death becomes you. Don't look now. Trap. So simple to see, really. Don't look now. I know, I heard you. Oh, <laughs> you want to die? Yes. Go. Right. Here we go again. Hey, Duncan. So you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. You're the elf I found wandering the forest, aren't you? Yep. I'm surprised you have recovered. Yep. Uh, have you heard the fighting, my gel? I would have, had I not been battling them myself. Not all the kills here were yours, as you can see. My name is Duncan, and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. Andaran Atishan, Duncan of the Grey Wards. Andaran Atishan. I am Meryl, the Keeper's apprentice. Your keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw It's interesting, because I've played Inquisition so much that I can say a lot of the words in the correct accents that they come from. And they're not saying it the same way in this game as they do in Inquisition. I see. That's like, this game is Andoran Atishan. But the Grey Wardens when Josephine greets you like in it is Inquisition, she was in Andoran Atishan. Communication. And then Over you'd be like, you speak Elven. She's like, break. eh, I'm afraid you've they heard the most of it. <laughs> the same as the touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. Do you hear that? That has been going on for like an hour now. And I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's cars, but then let's destroy it. I agree. So long as the mirror exists, it is a threat to anyone nearby. I do not fear this sickness. The keeper knows how to cure it. She may have weakened it, but she cannot cure it. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you, and it is spreading. Look inside yourself. And you will see. Then what do I First, do? First, we deal with the mirror. It is a pestilence and a threat. Duncan. It is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. 
I must speak with the keeper immediately regarding your cure. Can we just leave the cave like this? What about Tamlin? There is nothing we can do. That's a shame. Let me be very clear. There is nothing you can do for him. He's been tainted for three days now, unaided. Through your keeper's healing arts and your own willpower, you did not die. But Tamlin has no chance. Trust me when I say that he is gone. Now we should return. Won't there be a body? The Darkspawn would have taken it. Taken it where? Or what would they do with it? Eat Darkspawn it. are evil creatures. And it's best to leave <laughs> I don't know. That. I assume. I'm sorry. Um, is it safe to with leave the, the cave? With the mirror destroyed, I doubt the Darkspawn will return. My God! The more I talk, the more I yawn. I look very mirror. cute today. <laughs> Everything here was exposed to the mirror's taint. If your people must come here, they should cleanse it with fire. Okay, let's go back to camp. I sense no other dark spawn nearby, so it's safe. Lead on. Bye bye. I forgot it gave me statistics like this. 20 kills. Hit rate 100%. It's because I'm on easy. This game does let you I'm miss. I'm relieved you have returned. And I did not expect to see you again so soon, Duncan. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? If he's alive, Darkspawn killed him. There were Darkspawn in the cave. There is much to discuss, Keeper. I have learned a great deal since I was last here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel, then, Duncan. Meryl, warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manu Vinan, Keeper, right away. Galen, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Seek us out at my Aravel later, and we can discuss your cure. Very well. Tell Harin Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. I have leveled up again. I gotta go this way. Pyre to the dead. Hey, people. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Galen? Is he truly lost to us? Yep. He's dead. So, another of our children has perished. To think I'd live to see this. It seems the will of the creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber, softening the rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed, bow no longer tense. During this, your last hour, only silence. Of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The creators must come to guide him to the beyond. Tell the Keeper it shall be done before the clan is ready to move on. Okay, thanks. You know, it's imperative now more than ever to pass on what we know to the young. Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. I don't remember all of it. All Dalish should know this tale and hold its lessons close to heart. All right, but you may regret asking. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Um. <laughs> Long ago, we were slaves to yes. humans. 
Slaves to a terrible empire. The humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we quite became true, free. But... We built a homeland in the Dales. I mean, worshiping it, the creators it is, but it isn't. And rebuilding the there's a lot of history we not a lot. There, there's a substantial amount of continuity errors in this game or in the games. Um, not many. They do a very good job of of tracking it all, but there are some things that obviously they changed as they got into the later games. Um, but the humans wouldn't let they us were be. Resentful because we would not worship their gods. And because we put our people first, over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers Ooh, shaking the whole and desk. cruel tyrants. I'm so antsy for no reason. Probably the two Red Bulls that I've had today. Shush. The humans declared war. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. Wandering the lands rather than human rule. To survive and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. Return to the old ways. We are the Dalish. Keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. We are the last Elven. Never again shall we submit. Thank you for your forbearance, Dalen. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get on with your business now. I mean, you gave me multiple choices. I can figure it out. Cool. I'm going to go. Course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. Nobody on. There's something sparkling back here. It's a book. Cool. Um. Let's level up. Neato burrito. Let's go talk to Duncan. Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. Um, sure, but like, why? The dark spawn taint courses through your veins. That you recover that all is remarkable. But eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens Kinda can prevent that. that, but it means joining us. Cool. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage. And will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? I would like to stay for Tamlin's funeral. We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells. Then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. On the whole, this is a relatively calm origin. The human noble origin is chaotic 
and depressing. <laughs> Your whole family gets murdered. Um, so that's fun. The city elf one involves some trauma on your wedding night. Uh, so from the, the like son of the person in charge of the area because city elves are treated we like will be absolute traveling shit. South through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari wilds. And we're gonna meet the Alistair. The Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here even if we face a different foe within that forest. The king's forces have clashed with the darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. He I gonna die. A, They're all gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Welcome? There's so much I was death beginning in this to game. Worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could Hello. help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. I gotta drink my sparkling water before it. The other warden sold me sparkling. a fine, promising recruit. I take it this is she. This is she. Allow I am me to she. introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh, there, friend. Might I know your name? Uh, Marina. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You Good are Dalish, you. are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honor. Hmm. I thought humans consider us dangerous vagrants. To be fair, your people can be a bit standoffish. Not that I blame them, of course. I tell you this. You are very welcome here. He's the trying. Grey Wardens will benefit <laughs> greatly with you amongst them. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Logain waits eagerly to bore you Logain, with Logain, that bastard. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won oh, three Eamon. battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I didn't think things were going so well. Not even sure this is a true blight. Itchy. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. A giant dragon. Disappointed, Your Majesty. I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. Yeah, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. Mm. No, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Oh no, Farewell. not enough people Grey have Wardens. died. There's not enough for me to go rescue. What am I going to do? He dies. Most of the people here die. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the darkspawn here. And yet? Despite the victory so far, the darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Then we should move. Quickly. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. What do I need to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp Alistair. by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek Alistair. him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Oh, that yarn brought Until then, nice. I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to. Alright, let's become Grey Wardens. And then we'll end this episode. Run, 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 run. See, it's parts of these where I'm going to have to talk more, but there's not a whole lot to say. There's going to be more to say once we get past the initial setup of the hey, game. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. That is me. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? I get a dog! Sorry. I'm looking for Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. I love Alistair. Be on my Good way. Good luck to you, then. Goodbye. No matter how many times I play this game, I always get lost in this section. So that's the king's tent. 
that's Loghain's tent. Um, it's a knight, Ash Warriors. Here we go, the dogs. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Loghain that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find any That's Colin's else. voice. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> I know. I know Cullen's voice anywhere. Make us bread, another elf. What do you want? <laughs> I happen to be a grey warden. <laughs> Congratulations. Not bad for an elf. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. You don't look like other soldiers. We We're ash warriors. And that is what our training has been passed down since Lathias the dwarf son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. Cool. Bye. Oh, thanks. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. I can recognize him anywhere. Let's go get myself a puppers. Mm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. What's the problem? This is a Mabari, I was gonna say why, but smart I breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help. I need him muzzled first. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Aw, doggy likes me. Hey, puppers. Bark, bark. bark, bark. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Might be. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. I'll try to find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. <sighs> the urge in me to just rock. The thing is, though, with my um, with my chair, it actually like it tilts back quite far and so sometimes what I do is I just lean back like this and then it just it tilts and I forget how far back it tilts and my whole heart just stops <laughs> like I'm gonna die so any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle life is fleeting you know shut up that David pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh, well, too bad. Well, He's also you're not what I thought you'd be. And where do you think I'd be? Not an elf. Yet, here you are. Here I am. The name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare. No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Oh no! Maybe they will. We'll see. It's all too secretive for me. <laughs> Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Uh-huh. I'm looking forward to <laughs> you it. You sound just like the bloody knight. Well, more power to you. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Um. And done. Mine. Hey there. You there Maybe do a couple errands Where's around here armor? first. And why are you dressed so preposterously? What? Oh, uh, you're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I. Uh, Please, forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Ah, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... 
But please, pardon my terrible manners. I, I'm just the quartermaster, a simple man. No one special. You're forgiven. Perhaps you should treat your servants more kindly. Yeah, yes, of course, you're very right. Uh, did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Perhaps. What do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can oh. buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly Ooh. off the record, of course. To keep no, morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let's see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. Sketchy, but I'm good. Um, sell that. Don't need that. At this point, I'm kind of just selling most things because if I am correct, I might not be. Maybe I'm not. I remember very little about where to get certain things. I'm gonna sell these. Okay. None of that seemed particularly shady. But, alas. Hey, can I have this? That course of action is inadvisable. Okay. Welcome, young woman. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. I didn't Anyone want to eat my cookie into the microphone and also a siren went by. Demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Sounds horrid. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Okay, bye. Of course. What may I assist you with? I'm a go. Goodbye. Bye. I'm gonna go talk to Alistair. Hey, boy. He's my favorite. I love him so much. Him and Zevran. Ah! What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You're strange. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. You must be And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Pleased to meet you. I'm Raina. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. Probably because we're too smart for you. True, but if you're here, what does that make you? 
Uh, eager to get going. All right, all right. Fair enough. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. What was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. That would be awkward. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Alistair. Um, but there was a thingy over here. It's done, naturally. Naturally. All right, let's go chit chat with the Duncan Meister. Oh wait, I can get, I can get, I can get. Hold on. Hey. Hear the prayers of your you. sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Hail, Grey Warden. Not well, that's not who I wanted to talk to. Oh well. You found Alistair, did you? Good. <laughs> yeah. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Yep. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize him. anyone, okay. Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. There is a quest in Dragon Age Inquisition. This is the jury, a knight from Redcliffe. How do and you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said If was you set up the first two games correctly, you will have to pick between Alistair and Hawk. Now and then, it's not a good since you're choice all here, we can to begin. make. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds We're gonna to make Alistair two King. tasks. The first is to obtain always three make vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. And the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. I can feel it. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archives and files of blood. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. You got it. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. This Watch is over where your charges, we're gonna Alistair. meet more Return again. Return quickly and safely. This game makes me we so will. happy. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. I hope my chair squeaking doesn't make it onto the mic. Let's go. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The yep. gates open for you. Just cool. be careful out there. Well, Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Says you. Also gotta find going. Yes. Needle burrito. Now we can these planets. Wait, I haven't heard that before. Right to the face! Oh, 
I want, I want. Ugh. Yes. Be dead. Let me, let me loot now. Neat. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. There we go. What is this? What are you? Over here. Over where? Hey, friend. Who is that? Grey Wardens? It me. Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? <laughs> My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They I came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh, I, I've got to get out of here. Music. Bye. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Such Calm was the Calm down, life. Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. Yep. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. You sound like a coward to me. I am simply trying to stay alive. <laughs> you do not see me fleeing, do you? A bit of fear isn't unnatural, you know. Few relish meeting Darkspawn up close. I know I don't. It appears that I'm the only man here. I know I'm relying on you to protect me. I love you. Know him. this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. Ugh. You My see, Sir Knight, been really we might die, sensitive but we'll be warned about it first. So that is. Reassuring. Kind of to give it a bit that of doesn't rest. mean I'm here to make this easy, however. Looks stupid, but so let's get a move on. Gotta relax it a little bit. Alrighty, can I go back to? Um... All right. All oh, right. Oh, right. I said that too. <laughs> Loot. There's a vial of dark spawn. Spawn. Dark spawn blood. Anything else over here that I need? A little fruit. Okay. Back this way. Back this way, we're going back this way. I do want to go up there. Ominous. Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. I'm also looking for that flower that the dog guy told me to look out for. You'd think I'd know where to find it after how many times playing this game. That's just unfortunately not how it works. Ooh, decapitated. Let me loot. If they don't let me swim in the next Dragon Age game, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, 
My nose is itchy. Now we just collect everything that we need. All the looting, all the looting. Quest updated, Missionary Rigby. The chest. Success. Success. Anything else over here that I require? You can walk through water, but you can't swim in it. And I long for the get the day that Dragon Age will let me swim. Do I think that they're going to do it in Dreadwolf? No. But it would be nice. I can't remember how to get up there. Like I said, I'm in not going to do too many things. Like, I'm not going to 100% this. I'm playing this because I want to get to play Inquisition on my channel before Dread Wolf comes out. And thus, I need to get through these games so that they're played logically in an order for all the games to make sense. This game, I am lost. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Up here. But this game, because it's old and the some of the um, controls are a bit wonky, uh, I don't really want to put the effort into the whole thing because <laughs> I will lose my mind. Here's where we meet Morrigan. Morrigan. Well, well. What have we here? Morrigan. Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder? Come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. What say you? Hey. Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? I'm not either of those things. I am a Grey Warden. Power no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. Have they? I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? There's a cookie and up my nose. Now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Because I can. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes. Swoop down upon <laughs> I love him. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wild. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer. I love you, Morgan. Here no longer. You stole them, didn't you? You're <laughs> some going kind even of try. sneaky witch thief. 
Don't even Don't try. <laughs> How does one steal from Mickey Dave witch thief. Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. Why am I so yawny? Then who removed them? It was my mother, in fact. Can you take us to hmm. her? There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. Good. I'd be careful. First it's, <laughs> I like you. This whole playthrough is just going to be me Frog laughing time. at Alistair. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. It pleases me. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Ah, oh, shush. Quiet, you die. She's really a witch. Do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things. But it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? I'm no fool, if that's what you're asking. Well, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded witch of the wild. Witch of the wild, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> my cat just entered my bedroom. Ray has entered the chat. come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before yep. you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. How nice of you. Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this light's threat is greater there she than they realize. She's not in frame, though. Thank you. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Bye. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. We're almost... Oh, very well. At the part where I we become Grey Wardens. The woods. Which is good, me. because I'm hungry. <laughs> I would like to eat. I was about to start singing my loading song. Alrighty. I'm going to go give these flowers to the dog guy. And then we're going to become Grey Wardens. Now, my bar is stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Here you go. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. Puppy! Then we get the puppy he later. Looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. And how long before this improvement? Maybe two. There's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery. I don't know what ointment's gonna do if he swallowed battle. blood. Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Sure. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing <laughs> him. My bar, you're at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just. I'll take another look. Bow. Okay. And then Grey Warden in time. So you return from the I'm gonna lunch. mute while this happens just because I want to eat the rest of my cookie. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. I will not lie. 
We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Yes, yeah, Sir Knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. All right, let's get it on. I speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day... I'm the only one who survives this. Shall join you. Davith, step forward. Bye. Bye. I he die. You're weak. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. There Had is I no known. turning back. Dun, dun, no. dun. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. He gonna die too. Bye -bye. I am just, sorry. Drink, just drink at the fun. Just drink. You can oh. die either way. Just drink. But the joining is not yet complete. <laughs> That's a lot of blood very quickly. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint. Technically, I'm already tainted. She, I don't even get to choose. Can you imagine if they did that? Forth, you are a gray warden. If you like, they're like, drink? And you say no. <laughs> the game just ends. There's the archdemon. The big dragon. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Gross. Uh, nothing prepared Such me for that. What it takes. To be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. 
That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Ah, but we don't have months. Forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Cool. The meeting we'll is do. to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. All right. We'll pause there for now. So, <laughs> that was my very long, kind of rambly, kind of all over the place introduction to Dragon Age Origins, my favorite gaming franchise, literally like ever in the world. I love Dragon Age so much, so much, but that was my introduction to the series. Um, it's I've been recording for like two hours. We will definitely cut some of this down, but the, the gameplay is going to I gotta make these long or else we just don't get anywhere. Um, so probably go two hours each time and then try to make them like cut out sometime. I have to cut out what I have to cut out. Um, but anyway, that was Dragon Age Origins. I love Alistair. He's my favorite. It's why I romance him so much. But Zevran really just... Oh, I love him. I adore him. I like the characters in this one are really good. But Zev, Zev and Allie. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're definitely going to go for Zevran this time, not Alistair, even though I love Alistair, his commentary is fantastic and he makes me laugh and I will laugh every single time that he says something cause I love him. Um, but we are Grey Wardens now and so in the next episode we will go talk to the king and then all hell will break loose. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh. But yeah, that has been my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, hit like, hit subscribe, tap the little notification bell if you want to keep track of every time I upload this episode. Go check out my co uh, my collection inspection. Yeah, um, that's on the channel. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, I have been Fox, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!